Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Teacher Winnie. You're most welcome to my session. I'm going to be taking a little CRE that is Christian Religious Education P7. So, today we want to talk about what you call serving others in the spirit. Serving others in the spirit. First of all, we need to understand the word serving. What does the word serving mean? The word serving comes from the word to serve. The word serving comes from the word to serve. It comes from the word to serve. What is to serve? To serve is to do work. To serve is to do work for another person. To serve is to do work for another person or to do work for other people. To serve. is to do work to do work or perform duties for other people to serve is to do work or perform duties for other people that is the word serve to serve means to do work or to perform duties for other people. And the word, now the act of doing work for other people, the act of doing work for other people is called service. The act of doing work for other people or the act of doing work for another person is called service. The act of doing work Another person is called the service. The act of doing work for another person is called service. Service is S E R V I C E. That is service. When they talk about service, they say, please, when the service to this person, they're telling me, please help the other person. Do something for this person. That is what we mean by service. And a person who does work for another person is called a servant. A person who does work or perform duties for another person is called a servant. So they are saying a person who does work for another person or a person performs duties for another person is called a servant. You have always had people saying that this is my servant, this one is my servant, the other one is my servant. So now let us look what the, 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 what the word servant means and who are the people that they call servants. So a person who does work for another person is called a servant. You can be a servant, I can be a servant. So, we are talking about serving others in the spirit. We know, we know that the spirit, that is the inner being inside us. The inner being in us, that is the spirit. So, how can we serve others in the spirit? How can we serve others in the spirit? Serving others in the spirit, it means you do it wholeheartedly without even being forced to do it. You do it wholeheartedly. You do it with all your heart, with one heart. That is serving others in the spirit. And everything that we do, we do it knowing that really someone is looking at us. Someone is going to reward us for that thing. So that is what we call serving others in the spirit. So now when we talk about serving others in the spirit, we look at the book of Matthew. We look at the book of Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25, verse 30. Matthew chapter 25, verse 30 or verse 31. It talks about uh, a servant, or it talks about the servants, or the people who are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. The people who are going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. It talks about that day that we are all waiting for, that day which is called the judgment day. 
So we are all waiting for that day. We don't know when he's going to be there. We know, we know that Jesus told us that no one knows when that day is going to come. That they will come just like a thief comes, come, who comes a thief coming into your house. A thief comes into your house, but you don't know the time that he's going to enter. You don't know the time that he's going to rob you. So any time a thief can come in. So that day is going to be like a thief coming to your house. You don't know the time, you don't know the hour, you don't know the minute, you don't know the day. So when that day comes, when that day comes, we just need to be prepared for it. And how can you prepare for it? We only prepare for it through serving others. We prepare for it through serving others. others and there are so many ways that you can serve others. What are the things that are going to happen on that day? And why are you talking about service? And why are you talking about, why am I talking about Matthew chapter 25, verse 30? And why am I bringing in judgment day? Because that day, everyone is going to gather in one place. The sinners and the righteous, meaning the random righteous and the righteous. The righteous are those who have been doing good things. And then the non-righteous are those ones who have been disobeying God. All of us are going to be gathered in one place on that day. And that day, the Lord will come to us. Jesus Christ is going to come to us and is going to be questioning us. We are going to be under what we call a trial. So he's going to be questioning us and he's going to be rewarding us according to the deeds that we used to do when we were still alive. So he's going to say, he's going to talk about the righteous. When he talks about the righteous, the people who have been doing good things, when he's going to, when he's questioning the righteous, he's going to say, Come here, my servant. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was sick, you gave me something to you visited me, you told me to the hospital, and many other things. When I was in prison, you visited me, and so many other things. And you look at Jesus and you ask yourself, really, where did I find you? And I did all those things for you. And then Jesus will tell you, whatever that you've been doing to the least members of my family, who are those least members of his family? The poor, the sick, the hungry, the little children, the abandoned children, all those ones are the members of his family. So he's going to talk about those members of his family that he, whoever did that, he, whoever did anything to the least members of his family, in form of service, that person was helping him indirectly. So he's going to tell them to those people who are called the righteous to go on the right hand side of his father. And who is his father? His father is God. His father is who? God. So now he's going to go to the non righteous, those are the sinners. He's going to tell them when I was thirsty, you may not have something to drink. When I was hungry, you never fed me. When I was in prison, you never visited me. When I was homeless, you never gave me a place to stay. And then you ask him, but where did he find you? And he asked us to do for you those things and we never did it. And he's going to answer them by saying, whoever did this to the least members of my family, you are doing it to me. We find that story in the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 30. And he's going to the man right here. Those people who never did anything to help the least members of God's family, it's going to tell them, come to the left hand side of my father. And the ones who are on the left hand side of the father will be thrown to hell. And the ones who are on the right hand side of the father will be taken to heaven. Those are the rewards of the righteous and the rewards of the non righteous. The rewards of the righteous will be taken to heaven. And the rewards of the non righteous will be taken to hell. So where do you belong? Do you belong to the non-righteous or do you belong to the righteous? God knows. You are the one to answer that question. I do not know. So we are talking about service. You are saying that a person does work for another person is called a servant. Let us look at the types of servants. Servants of the groups of both servants. Who are these people here? Why we have what you call the good servants? We have the first group that is the good servants. Who are good servants? Good servants are the people who do work for other people for the sake of humanity or to please God. 
They are the people who do work for others for the sake of humanity or to please God. So do you do work to help others? Do you do work because you're a human being and they are also human beings just like you? They also need the things that you need. They also need to be treated just the way that you need to be treated. That is humanity. And then also to please who? God. We do everything because we want to please God. We do everything because God is looking at us. And whatever that we do, we are going to receive the word, the word. Just like I've talked about it in the book of Matthew chapter 25. So, we know that the rewards that we receive, they are either going to hell or going to heaven, that is paradise. So, God's servants are the people 